Hi guys, it has been a long time since I've been able to do some demos for you. A long time. But I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you some fall inspired designs today. Um, super easy to do. We're going to hand paint a little bit. Don't freak out. It's beginner easy. Um, we're going to use some fall colors. So let's get started. So we're going to put a, coat, a protein bond down on our enhancement that's already been filed. Two nails are actually going to be the same design, just opposite colors. Um, and one's going to be a retro. So I'm going to switch gears quite a bit here as far as our base colors are concerned. For our first nail, I'm going to use one of my favorite nudes, Beige 102. Get a nice even coat. For our second nail, I'm going to use Brass Nux as my base. And for our third nail, I'm going to use Personal Day, which is one of our newest colors. Kind of a pretty peach. All right, you want to get a nice even coat. I'm going to pop these inside the lamp, let them cure for a minute, come back for our second coat. All right, our first coat is cured. We're going to come back with our second coat. So beige 102 on our first nail. Brass Nux on our second nail. And last but not least, Personal Day on our third nail. So these are our bases. We're going to get these all cured up and then we'll come back and do all the fun bits. All right, so our first nail, I'm going to take Fizz from my Mission Control Gel Paint Collection. So I'm just going to paint a straight line here and a straight line here. You can fill this in with Fizz if you want. You can fill it in with the white of your choice. Um, I'm just going to use Fizz because it's right here. So I'm actually going to fill that whole entire panel in with Fizz. Let's make sure you get good coverage so you don't have any streaky spots. If you do, you can come back and kind of sort of touch it up a little bit at the end. You can use White 101 for this. You can also use Heaven Help Me. It's whatever white works best for you. I'm going to clean that up just a hair to make sure that line is nice and crisp. I'm just going to use a gel brush really quick. And I'm just going to go right through here, straighten that line, and we're going to pop that in the lamp for about 30 seconds so it gets nice and set. So we're going to outline this panel. I'm going to use Aura, which is also Mission Control. We just want a nice thin line of Aura in that panel. So once we have that done, we're going to set it as well for 30 seconds inside the lamp. I'm going to take Overdrive and almost create a branch shape here. I'm going to curve that down all the way into here and kind of branch off from that. So we're going to touch it, branch off, touch it, branch off. And we're going to do that a couple of times. It'll almost look like the bones of a feather. And you can be as artistic here as you want. Totally up to you. This is your design. You do the same thing on the opposite side. It may not be 100% even, but it's hand painted. So there is margin for error. Um, I like to set it just for a few seconds. So nothing moves while I'm working. Grab a dotting tool and we get to make dots. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So we're going to fill this whole entire nail in with dots. Not the whole entire nail, but the feathers. Um, so just be creative here. So we're kind of going for a fall leafy dotty looking design, something similar to that. Almost like clusters of grapes. You can do less or more here, it just depends. And once that's done, we'll pop it inside the light. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do it in a different way. So same thing. I'm gonna place a line down the side of the nail on the opposite side. All right, so I'm gonna make an L shape here, just like we did before. I'm gonna fill it in with Hey Gang. So it's absolutely the same as the first nail. We're just using different colors. And I'm just using our liner brush to fill that in. I'm going to make that as nice and even as you can. All right, and we're going to pop that into a 350 degree oven for 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, I'm going to outline this in Aura just like we did the other nail. And you'll notice it gives more contrast because the colors are deeper. Um, just try to get a thin line, but just enough to outline that panel to make it look finished. I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds, get it all set up. All right, and we're going to take a little bit of Fizz from Mission Control, and we're going to do a little bit different this time. We're going to do the same motion, but we're going to almost feather out so it looks like a feather floating on the nail instead of a black grapevine. 
So we're just really flicking in strokes all the way down the nail. You don't want to use a ton of product, you just want enough to define your feather. And the great thing about doing this with gel is if you have to come back and touch anything up or add anything, you can do it. It's very forgiving. We're gonna go ahead and pop that inside the lamp and let it set up for just a few seconds. So I'm gonna take our liner brush through the center of this feather and give it some boning. All right, and that's it. We're gonna cure that for 30 seconds just to set it. We have everything a final cure at the very end. All right, so our last nail is gonna be super simple as well. So we are gonna take babies first on our art brush. I'm gonna make a half circle. And fill that in. Make sure we get nice even coverage. This is very good pigment, so you can pretty much get it in one coat. All right, so once we have that, I'm gonna pop that inside the lamp 30 seconds and let it cure. We're gonna take Hey Gang, and we're gonna bisect the half circle with it. We're gonna cure it for 30 seconds. All right, so all we have left to do on this nail is a few little dots, handy dandy dotting tool. We're gonna go inside of our fizz, pick it straight up. That's all we have to do. Cure all the nails for 60 seconds, top coat, and we will be done. And our client's ready to go. Subscribe channel.